Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick video, let you guys know what's going on uh, with Nate and I. Um, just give you an update of what we're working on. There's no cleanups this week. Um, we kind of had to have a little bit of delay in the cleanups just because we had some things we had to consider like waivers and liability and all that fun stuff that we hadn't really thought of. So we're working on that. Um, but what is happening this week is the committee meeting, Saudi Daisy committee meeting, commission meeting will be um, on Thursday at 7 p.m. at the municipal building, which is the same place that the police station is. Um, I put in the address that was on the website and it took me to Veterans Park and that's not correct. It's actually the municipal building. So Nate and I will be there. So hopefully you can join us 7 p.m. Get there early. Last time it ran, they ran out of seats. So um, we are gonna maybe bring up litter again. It'd be nice if some other citizens, you know, brought it up too. So we're not the only ones talking about it. Last week, I know a few other people talked about it. So that was really helpful. Um, we have been talking to other agencies, including Scenic Cities Beautiful, which is um, run by Chattanooga. And that's a affiliate of Keep America Beautiful and Keep Tennessee Beautiful. And she thought maybe we should try to start a citizen committee, citizen committee through the city that would work on beautification as well. And then that would help with the litter cleanups within city um, limits and then keep the scenic city or scenic city, scenic cities beautiful, I think is what they call it. She can help us uh, with anything that's in the non-incorporated or the county um, limits. So um, with picking up the trash, supplies and stuff. So that's a great thing. And then let me see, I made notes to make sure I told you guys everything else. It's been going on so Nate and I talked to Steve Jewett today and he is one of the co-founders of National Cleanup Day you can um, find that on nationalcleanupday.org and they do um, a national cleanup day in the um, September and then they do a world one with uh, Earth Day in April and then they also do cleanups throughout the year as well but they have a really cool program where um, you can like go and find local cleanups near you as long as the organizations are posting them and they have a lot of different partners like um, they partner with the guy who started the hashtag trash tag and then they also uh, partner with the guy who started plogging which is jogging and picking up trash at the same time and that was actually started in Sweden so if you have a chance it's a pretty cool website nationalcleanupday.org and Steve Jewett was really resourceful and like super helpful um, talking to us about getting all of our legal paperwork and all that fun stuff that I'm sure you guys don't really want to hear about but it's important so and it's, it's not as easy as it should be to get something like this started and then um, we have been in touch well we're going to talk tomorrow with Keep Tennessee Beautiful about becoming an affiliate if that's something we're interested in so we actually are going to talk to Edmund who is the affiliate guy for them tomorrow and I've already met Kyle he was actually he's one of the um, he's the president of the board of Keep Tennessee Beautiful. He was at the cleanup we did with Keep Tennessee River Beautiful, not last weekend but the weekend before. So um, I got to meet him, and they're a pretty good uh, connection I think too. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I had sent an email to Senator Bo Watson, our senator. And he actually emailed me back, so that was pretty cool, and it was about litter and the problem. Um, there actually, I had posted on our group a link that you can like put in your information and they'll send like an email to all your representatives, even like the commission commissioners in the city as well as the county. So you just kind of put your information in, it will automatically figure out who it needs to send it to. And then I added, of course, some extra stuff to um, tell why, why littering um, is an issue for us and what we want to do to fix it and all of that so that was pretty cool that he uh, Bo wrote me back and um, it was a personal email you know and he said he's concerned about it too he's actually from Chattanooga so that was nice uh, we talked to Jeanette from scenic cities beautiful like I'd mentioned Jim um, Stewart our friend who's kind of helped us get everything started here he had reached out to her previously and kind of had a little bit of a relationship so she spent some time talking to us and uh, told us some ideas of what we can do here locally um, to help get the litter problem and then also kind of talk to us about what they've been doing in Chattanooga and the unincorporated areas. So that was great. Um, so far the cleanups we've done, we did that cleanup at Dollar General. Unfortunately it's not, um, have, hasn't stayed as clean as we had hoped so I don't know what we'll have to do about that. 
um, maybe reach out to the corporate or something like that. Uh, we did the cleanup with Keep Tennessee River Beautiful and the, um, oh gosh, I can't think of the name of the club. Jim Hill, what's the name of your club? Oh my goodness, I just totally had a, a brain, brain freeze, fart, I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> the fishing, fly, the fishing, well, it's Possum Creek. That's all I have to say. At Possum Creek with the Chickamauga fly fishing, I, sorry, Jim. Anyways, with that group. We did the cleanup, went and cleaned up around the lake and uh, keep, it was sponsored by Keep Tennessee River Beautiful. Um, and so that was pretty cool. And then I met um, Kathleen Gibby, who is the director of that. Um, and she does a great job going and doing cleanups all over uh, where, everywhere the Tennessee River is, she does cleanup. So not just in Tennessee. And she does a really good job. They have a boat that they use and they go out and get tires and all sorts of nastiness. They got a toilet out of uh, Chickamauga Lake. So... That's pretty cool. Let's see, anything else? We did Christina's cleanup, and that was on Dayton Pike, uh, starting at uh, Charlie's restaurant, and we went down all the way to, I'm not sure what the name of the road is, but where the big house on the huge hill of grass is down there as you're heading towards Hickson. Um, and the city of Saudi Daisy came and picked up that trash, and they weighed it, and, uh, Michelle's family um, picked up eight and friends, um, as well as the ROTC from Saudi Daisy High School, and then the people that came to volunteer with us um, picked up 1,800 pounds of trash. So bravo for that. That's amazing. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to do that again soon. I think, yep, that was that's all the cleanups. Oh, and then Nate has been in contact with Mr. Johnson, our city, Saudi Daisy city manager that just uh, started. And so we're going to meet with him and talk about what we can do too. So please, any ideas, anything you guys have to add to this? This is, this is not just us. This is all of us together. Um, we might be the ones that are kind of like are steering the thing at this moment, but we're really wanting all of us to be involved. So any, any ideas you guys have any feedback, um, let us know. Cause we are, uh, you know, here to serve and uh, here for the community. So anyways, I think that's all I have to say. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week so far. Look forward to seeing you all. Hopefully see some of you guys on Thursday. If not, hopefully we'll see you all at the next cleanup. Bye.